I don't like girls that eat food. <laughs> There's no way we're starting this video like this. I only want my future girlfriend to eat salads and stuff like that. I find girls that eat burgers, hot dogs, or any kind of meat gross. <laughs> Immediate turn off. Doesn't fit the female image I want for me. Disgusting. Wow. Like, I understand having preferences, but imagine if this this is what, like, the hang-up was. Hey, I really like you. Do you like me? Well, yeah, I do like you. You're a wonderful person. But you ate a hot dog one time, <laughs> and that's disgusting. Welcome back guys, hope you're doing amazing and I hope you're ready for some more Not How Girls Work. I still can't believe that we started this video by saying I don't like girls that eat food. <laughs> I didn't think I would ever say that. Thank you for joining me on these wild rides of videos. I really appreciate it guys. And with that being said, let's get into it. Enjoy. Girls who have this type of collarbone are loyal ones. True AF. 100 love heart eyes a love heart. So, being loyal depends on your collarbones? Wow, no way. I didn't know that. Seriously though, you can't just say something like that and then not back it up. <laughs> Explain. What are you talking about? You've just uncovered like the biggest secret in the universe and you're not even gonna explain yourself. Why is it that men marry women that they're older than? Well, women get older quickly, so we don't want them to look like they're our mum after childbirth. Yep, this is the reason for me. I'm 45 and most of the women my age look 70. What? <laughs> Bro, there are so many guys I've seen that are middle-aged that age way faster than their wives. What are you talking about? <laughs> Surely that's based on absolutely nothing. They're acting like they're a sexy silver fox. There are a lot of guys that don't age very well either. You might even say there are people that don't age very well and maybe it has nothing to do with your gender. No, 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 bro. All women age way faster than men. <laughs> if they're 40, they look 70. Boys at their friend's wedding celebrating. Girls at their friend's wedding. They're upset. Are you trying to say that they're jealous and they aren't happy for their friends? Is this even a stereotype? I've never even heard about this. And they're making it seem like this is common knowledge <laughs> that women, what, get upset that somebody else is getting married and not them? Bro, men do that. <laughs> no way, man. Literally, all women are the same. <laughs> okay, so this is a guy talking about periods. Yeah, you can control it. By this time, you should know your cycle and how long it's going to last and the days of the heavy flow, etc. There are multiple apps out there to help women track it and cycle and record it. So a day before a cycle starts, you can use a tampon when going to sleep so that it doesn't happen. This is something that you simply ought to know as a woman or be taught by your mother or a mature woman. Wow, this this is so bad. If it's irregular, you need to see a doctor so it can be treated so you do have a regular flow. I'm a man, but I know all of this. <laughs> and the top comment says, Source, I'm a man, but I know all this. Yeah, buddy, I'm sure you do. It's never a good idea to act like an expert on stuff like this, especially if you're a guy and you don't know what you're talking about, i.e., this guy. <laughs> like, bro, you don't need to be right about this. It's so frustrating. I'm a dude and I know everything there is to know about this. I know more about this than you, even though you're the one who experiences it. The audacity. When she 
says it's her first one. Wow. Um, yeah, that's really gross and not true, by the way. <laughs> that's totally bad women's anatomy. But also, that thing that they're standing on is terrifying. What is that? I know that's not what I'm meant to be focused on, but that really freaks me out. I believe as females, we should always address men as sir. And that's over Harry Potter, is it? Wow, the top comment. And I believe as males, we should always address women as m'lady. <laughs> Hell yeah. No, but like it says females and it doesn't say women and it's just a little bit fishy. I feel like a guy definitely wrote this. Girls who do the solo diddly. Um, yeah, I don't know how I'm even going to be able to read this one. <laughs> Girls who do the solo diddly. The you know what is not meant for self-pleasure. It's meant for creating a child, you moron. <laughs> do you know why you feel like garbage after you do the solo diddly? It's because your you know what is sending bad chemicals to your brain. By touching yourself, you're killing your body. And that's the devil's doorbell. And if you keep pressing it, soon enough he'll answer. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. The devil's doorbell. Everybody in the comments is saying that that's a really good name for a band. <laughs> and yeah, I tend to agree. No, but what are they talking about? <laughs> it's made for making a baby. Am I missing something here? The sad thing about broken men and women. It's sad when you see a man cry or broken. It shows absolute defeat in his soul. When a woman cries, usually she does it for attention. Wow. Usually she does it for attention or to get comfort. I've tried to heal broken women, but I've come to the conclusion that they can't be fixed. But being there for a man who is broken and getting him back to his feet makes me feel fulfilled. Call me a misogynist, but denying the truth is being willfully ignorant. <laughs> wow. Or maybe you're not as much of an expert as you think you are. <laughs> wow, people actually think they know everything, don't they? Like, yeah, women only ever cry for attention. <laughs> like, how do you say that and be serious at the same time? That's what I don't understand. Is dating easier for women since they don't need social or communication skills? What? They don't? <laughs> what do you mean? Do they actually mean that they can get by just on their appearance? Surely not. Bro, the question itself is wrong. <laughs> they don't actually think that women don't need social or communication skills, do they? Well, that is what they just said, but <laughs> surely not. I'm having a really hard time believing that. Yeah, women aren't allowed because during a firefight, they'd be too busy looking for any person to, oh my God, have a you know what with. Yeah, definitely wouldn't be you, bud. Yeah, but women don't care about personality, LMAO. If he's a good looking dude, that's all that matters. Wow. <laughs> and they're different people, by the way. Both of those comments are so ridiculous. <laughs> that's actually kind of amazing. Menstruation isn't natural. It's an unnatural response to improper dietary habits and toxic environment. All estrogens are poisonous. <laughs> hmm, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that, dude. You know what, guys? I think I've read enough nonsense for one day. I think we all know what time it is. Time for something a lot more wholesome than this. We have now scientifically proven that dinosaurs did not have scales or feathers. In fact, we now know that dinosaurs actually had sick biker jackets. <laughs> wow, cool jacket. Yeah, thanks, bro. <laughs> oh, that's really cute. And that's so creative. And you know what? I do want to believe that dinosaurs had sick biker jackets. That's something that I can totally get behind. Like, I know they're literally dinosaurs that would easily smush you in a second, <laughs> but it's still cute. My dad explaining his job and how it works. Me, who doesn't understand, but is still in interested. <laughs> As you were saying. Tell me more about what you do and I'll nod my head 
it. <laughs> and I'll try and understand. Wow, that's actually so true though. Except I didn't really understand anything. It wasn't just people's jobs. Me. I'm gonna start having fun on my days off. Me on my days off. Yeah, but like, that's okay. If that's what you want to do, that's totally fine. We all need days like that. I also really want to watch Tom and Jerry now. <laughs> I miss that show. Okay, guys, that's gonna do it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and let me know down below what you thought. And the comment of the day today goes to I'm not cringe, I promise. I have nightmares about being like this. <laughs> I don't know if you're joking or not, I'm not cringe, I promise. I hope you're joking. But also, at the same time, I know exactly what you mean. And that was on a Nice Guy video, by the way. But, like, that's the good thing about the Nice Guy videos. Educational and entertaining. <laughs> Infotainment. Wow. Infotainment. Tonight. We salute the silver anniversary of the Great Springfield Tire Yard Fire. We're ending the video with a Simpsons clip once again. <laughs> We're on a roll, guys. Thank you again for all your support. I really appreciate it. Have a beautiful rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.